Hey, this is Shane Hips with the Home Pros Radio Show. Not only am I a contractor, I also work in the real estate industry. If you own or operate a real estate brokerage that you're considering stepping away from, or if you're planning your retirement, give me a call so we can discuss how to keep your cash flow coming to you. Don't let all of your hard work fall by the wayside. Call me at 864-326-5252. That's 864-326-5252. I look forward to talking to you. The Home Pros Radio Show. Brought to you by Prime Lending. Home loans made simple. Welcome to the Home Pros Radio Show, the premier resource for the well informed homeowner. With over 30 years of combined home inspection and renovation experience, your hosts, Tommy Donovan and Shane Hips, help you stay on top of your home improvement and home maintenance needs. Visit homeprosradio.com to access the trusted product and service providers that are a part of our Home Pros network. Find the Home Pros Radio Show on Facebook and Twitter for regular show updates and additional information on the topics covered on our show. Excuse me, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Thank you very much, Ace Ventura. We have a question from <laughs> Leslie. She's in Greenville. Should there be a shutoff valve installed at my water heater? I'm buying a new home and notice that my water heater did not have one. I brought this up with my builder who said the current installation should be okay. Otherwise, it would have passed the county inspection. Your thoughts? Well, in doing my research and checking it out, um, you know, a shutoff valve is required uh, at a water heater on the cold water supply. Correct. Which is actually, if you think about it, it's it makes sense. Yeah, because if it's not getting water, water's not going to go out of it. I mean, yeah, yes, it's got to. You're shutting down the water to getting into the water heater. Yeah, but I always think about it this way: if whenever you have an appliance, whenever you have a fixture, if you will. Mm Um, you want a shutoff valve, right? So that uh, if it needs work or if it needs replacement, you can you have a location right there where you can shut off the source, mm-hmm. do the work you need to do, and then turn it all back on, right? Rather than having to go, oh, I need to find the water main. Where's that? Right, and that sort of thing. So I looked it up. Uh, according to the IRC, the International Residential Code. Uh, it says, I should have probably put that up on our screen behind us. It's uh, section P29, 2903.9.2, water heater valve, a readily accessible, that's a key, that's a key phrase there. Yes, that you is get to it. A full open valve shall be installed in the cold water supply pipe to each water heater at or near the water heater. Each water heater, too. Yes. So if you have, multiple, so if you have multiples, you one. can't just run them in series and throw one in there. That's a good point. So, uh, but yeah, readily accessible. A full open valve. What is that? Well, it's defined as a valve that does not restrict the flow of water when open all the way. An, an example of that would be like a ball valve, or in this case, it says here a gate valve, which can be used. You know, the difference between the two, I guess you have a ball valve that as you turn it, there's a channel that opens up in, in the ball mechanism inside the valve that doesn't allow you to partially open it's either fully it's open, either open or fully or closed, closed. Mm-hmm. and then with a gate valve it allows you to fully open the valve I, what i'd like to do is do, do a little research to find out well what's the opposite yes yeah. and all these Should different types of valves? Open all valves all the way <laughs> but uh that would be i'm gonna make a note of that and make sure we we check that out and bring that up at a later date but this also brings up another issue that i like to point out because if um because I hear this a lot, and mm-hmm. it, it, it all goes back to that whole question of, I'm buying a new construction home. The city and county inspectors are coming out. Do I really need an independent home inspection, a third-party home inspection, if you will? I say yes. I say and, yes. And because this is a perfect example, if you're not seeing a water shut off and the builder's like, well, it should be fine as it is because it wouldn't have gotten a CO. Right. Well, look at the amount of time. I mean, you know, we, we always talk about, you know, the I always talk about how they're in there in the beginning, then they're not in there till a lot later, then they're not in there. Let's 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 just step back and look at the amount of time that they're in the house mm-hmm. for the final inspection. I've been at a house. Where I've they, watched them. Yeah, 
Yes. Uh, They'll come and go while fif- I'm there doing fif- my inspection. 15, 20 minutes. I mean, do they really have time to go through? They're not looking at every little thing. Where I mean, what's your average time on a home inspection? On a home inspection, average time, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. And so you look at two and a half hours there and 15 minutes well, If there. I see a county, county inspector or a city inspector, yeah, you're right. It's usually 30 minutes is a long time for them. Yeah, absolutely. If, it, if, and if, if that long. And if it's raining, who knows? <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm. I'm just being serious. You know, yeah. people get in a hurry. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's raining, it's raining or whatever else. I mean, but then again, it might be more enticing to stay in the house rather than run back out to the car at that time. Yeah. You know, but, but I mean, and I'm not dogging on anything. We're not I'm dogging si- on them. It's just stating. they have a different procedure. Yes, and they it, have. They have a different procedure, and they go do say twenty inspections in a day, where you do two or yes, three. Yes, that's true. So I mean, you, you, if you think about it, it's just it's, it's a different inspection it's a it's a completely different thing i always like to think of it as it looks like they're doing a pop quiz hey this is shane hips with the home pros radio show i'm looking for a few real estate agents that are considering a change in brokerage maybe you're wanting opportunities to make more money you're possibly just not happy where you are you could even be a new agent or considering getting into real estate if any of these sound like you give me a call at 864-326-5252 so we can discuss some of the options that are available to you. That's 864-326-5252. Talk to you soon. Like they have, you know, if uh, you, you walk into class one day and the teacher wants to know if you did your homework, so they'll ask you two or three questions about the entire right. assignment mm-hmm. to see uh, if they're figuring, hey, if they know these things, then they've, they've at least they've done paid the work. attention somewhat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, it, 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 and it tends to be one of those things um, like uh, like they'll pick and choose certain items. And you ask builders all the time. Builders will always tell me, oh, they seem to be really picking on this these oh, yeah. days and oh, that yeah. sort of thing. And it's because of the fact that, shoot, I mean, it's like um, you think of all the new construction going up in a general area. Yeah. Your local county office might have – three or four inspectors, depending on the size of the city. Right. Um, they can't possibly go into de- – it's not physically possible to go to into go into detail. all the details of yeah. every house. So, Absolutely. And it's something like a water heater shutoff valve you would think would be obvious mm-hmm. that should be there. Yeah. But, but there could be the main water shutoff there, right there. You know, yeah. It, it, a lot of the production uh, oh. houses, at the back of the garage, there's a place where the water heater is. But yeah. that's also where the – so there's a valve – a shutoff valve at the water heater. There's a main water shutoff in that same little alcove or yep. whatever we want to call it. And your pressure reducing valves in there also. Mm-hmm. So all that stuff is in that same location. Maybe they saw a couple of them, but, you know, just failed yeah. to realize that the shutoff wasn't there for the water heater. I don't be. know. So uh, that and uh, there, are all, there are all kinds of things. Maybe we can have our buddy Carl Turvo on to talk about water heater requirements because the codes have kind of changed recently mm-hmm. with now they're making water heaters that are gas water heaters that, I get, I've heard, I haven't seen the writing in it, but I've heard can technically not be on stands because okay. of the way that their combustion air works on them. I've also, uh, of course, a new code with water heaters has become the whole expansion tank okay. situation, how those are starting to be required. Oh, yeah, yeah. In certain situations. Yeah. So. Well, I had I had one earlier this week. I just couldn't figure out a way. Actually, I didn't have it. Uh, Gary had it. Mm-hmm. Um, my technician that looks at all the jobs and stuff that I don't look at. And he, um, it was a, his on demand water heater in a crawl space. So it wasn't rated for outside. It was, um, and then the, the TPR actually went out and up because it was in like a crawl space a crawl below space. grade. Yeah. So, but you know, those are supposed to be able to gravity drain. Yeah. It's, it's supposed to gravity drain, period. That's, that's how they're supposed to work. And, um, but the water heater was basically, I mean, the vent came out the top and had to bend because it was up to the floor joists. Oh, wow. There was no way to raise this water heater in the location it was. And obviously, this water heater can't be put on the outside because it's not rated for uh, exterior. For exterior so, I mean, you know, we're sitting there, you know, trying to figure out the most cost-effective way to repair this. There's not really a good repair for it. So, I mean, you know, ultimately, we end up uh, pricing to replace put in, it. Re- Put in a new on-demand water heater on the exterior where it could actually be drained. Yeah. But, um, you know, just because there, w- there wasn't clearance, there was no way to get that to gravity drain. 
with what it was and where it was. Yeah. And that and that's the bad thing because a lot of times someone, you know, they paid to have that done and they're assuming that, you know, there's not an issue and then even when it's written up, they're thinking, Oh, okay, that's just gonna, you know, cost a hundred, couple hundred bucks to fix it. And there is no fix. I yeah. mean, no no simple fix. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, we get into some stuff every now and then. It's like, I, I don't know, you know. But yeah, you're just talking about the water heaters and all. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I encountered a, a very challenging one this week. Yeah. So. Well, this one is, uh, I think, a it's a, it's a good question. Um, I think there are a couple of things um, that, that are worth sharing that, yes, you should have a shutoff valve. And um, then, of course... A lot of times, don't just take the contractor's or the builder's word for it. There are ways to look up this information, and I'm glad you turned to us for the answer. Thank you for listening to the Home Pros Radio Show. If you have a question for the Home Pros, visit us online at homeprosradio.com, where you can also catch our podcast episodes and learn more about the topics and guests we bring to you each week. The Home Pros Radio Show is made possible by Prime Lending, RIC Home Inspections, Closing Contractor, Radon Recon, and Carolina Heating Service. If you are a trusted service provider in our area and would like to contribute to the show, send us a message through our Contact Us page at homeprosradio.com. Once again, thanks for listening to the Home Pros Radio Show. 